Hi, my name is Jeff Christiana. I'm the Director of Marketing for Trumpets here at Con Summer. Uh, I'm going to talk to you about how to uh, maintain your trumpet uh, in, uh, on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis so that you've got years of, of quality use out of, out of your Con Summer instruments. So I've got a couple of instruments to use to demonstrate today. One is the King uh, Student Instruments, a King 601 trumpet made in Eastlake, Ohio, uh, right here in the USA. And the other actually is a professional instrument. This is a Bach Stradivarius. 180 S37 made right here in Elkhart, Indiana in the Bach plant. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over just uh, some general uh, care and maintenance tips. So we talked about what comes with the instrument, which is typically valve oil, uh, maybe uh, slide grease, okay? But you're gonna wanna go out and purchase a good quality care kit, all right? Now this is gonna be really important as you're trying to take care of your instrument. And here are some of the parts laid out that are included in the care kit. You've got, you've got cork grease, or in this case, slide grease. You've got a good quality valve oil. Uh, you've got um, a polishing cloth, okay? And you've got three brushes, and they're for different purposes. Actually, this long, uh, this is called a snake. This is actually we're gonna use as we're washing the instrument inside to run it through the long uh, uh, pieces of, of the instrument. We'll get to that in a moment, all right? And then you have uh, a larger brush. This is actually a brush for the inside of the valve casing, all right? Again, we'll go over that. And this is one you're gonna use uh, quite often. This is actually a mouthpiece brush, okay? But once a week, uh, you should really actually take all your valves out and you should wipe them down. So as you take a valve out, just take, uh, undo the top cap, take, actually, take the valve out, lay the horn down carefully. And you're gonna take a, a microfiber cloth, okay? Always use a microfiber cloth with no lint. Um, it's not abrasive. And you're gonna actually wipe any debris and oils uh, that are remain on it, all right? So you want to just wipe it off really good. Um, when oiling your valve, make sure that you use a good quality valve oil. Coat the, uh, the actual piston really well. And then put it back into the proper valve casing. Now be sure that it's aligned properly on a student instrument. There's a number that faces you, the player. So make sure you're looking at the number and the wide part of the valve guide is actually facing the bell. So once that goes down and you can hear it click into place, screw it back down and you're ready to go. You can always check to make sure you have them aligned by blowing through the instrument. If you can't blow through it, you put it in backwards or it's not properly aligned or it's something is askew. So check the valve alignment to make sure it's right, okay? So you're gonna do that once a week. Uh, I mean, you're gonna take them all out. You should also take uh, the slides out, all right? And you're gonna wanna wipe them off as well. So you wanna take any old grease and you're gonna wipe off all the, the grease that was on there, okay? From the last time you applied it just to keep it nice and uh, uh, clean. You're gonna wipe it off on the inside slide tubes as best you can. Then you're gonna reapply a good quality slide grease. All you do is just put a little bit on both sides. Then you do wipe it in. And you do the same thing with the other slide tube. There, now your, your valves are working, your slides are working, so you repeat this process with the second, third valve, and with the second valve slide, and with the third valve slide, okay? So that's all you have to do on a weekly basis to, to keep it uh, working properly. Uh, once a month, though, you're really going to actually really take care of this, and you're gonna wash it thoroughly. And you're actually gonna take the instrument apart, and then you're going to soak it for a little bit in, in actually uh, lukewarm water with a mild uh, detergent. Okay, I wanna take this part really quickly for you. So take your valves out, and take the valves out and put them separate so they're not uh, damaged. Okay, so the valves are out. There's bottom caps that come off. So now all the parts are off the valve section. Now you can take the valve slides off. So just pull the valve slides off. There's the second valve. There's the first valve. Now the third valve, you have to watch, depending on how the trumpet is set up, there might be some kind of a stop rod or something you have to take off first. Like this has an adjustable ring that has a little plastic guide on it, which actually keeps it from coming off the end. So to get it out, you literally have to take that ring out first. So take the ring out, and then you can pull the, the slide out, right? So now you've got all three slides out and you've got the trumpet, okay? And one more is the main tuning slide. So now, that's it. Those are all the parts, all right? So if you look, you've got all the parts of the trumpet, you've got your valves. Everything next to the valves here actually can be soaked in warm water with a mild detergent, and it's okay. It's not gonna hurt the instrument. If you put it in too hot of water and it is a lacquer finished instrument, you can actually damage the lacquer. So you do not wanna use hot water. It's very important, okay? All right, so you're soaking that, and meanwhile, 
you can actually, if you want to soak your valves to get the, all of the debris off the inside, you get a little jar and just stick them in the jar so the water only comes up basically to the bottom, the top of this piston. What you don't want to do is soak this in water because you have some uh, materials that are affected by water. You have felts that are underneath here, which make it quiet as it goes up and down. You may have felt on top, as this one might be a neoprene bumper. But in any case, you don't want to soak those because actually they can actually to, uh, start to deteriorate. So that's why you don't want to just put this in water. So that's as far as you have to take these apart normally. So you can take a soft cloth, a microfiber cloth, and you're going to actually just pull them up and wipe off, wash every part individually, gently. Uh, rinse them in, in clean, warm water then, okay? So uh, all the parts individually, you can wipe off the outsides. If your slide tubes, like on the King, has a little tiny uh, rubber washer, Take it off so you don't lose those, all right? Those are to keep your slides quiet as they're coming in and out, but you don't want to lose them in, in the tub, so just take those out separately. You can put those back later. So once it's soaking, now you can use some of the brushes, all right? So for example, you can't wash down inside, but you certainly can take a snake, feed the snake through one end, for example, and run it through, and you can pull it back. All right, so when it's soaking in water, you're gonna get any good kind of debris that's in there, and that's going to come off. So you can do that with any of these slides, okay, any of these tubes. You can go in and clean out all of them. So as you're actually using the, uh, the snake, be, be careful not to force it. Uh, you'll see it come through, but you don't want to jam it into any parts. You don't want to damage it. Just be very gentle as you're doing it. But you can actually go through and gently clean every part with this brush. Again, don't force it around tight turns, okay? Just go in where you can reach it gently. You can actually even all the way down into the bell, and you can clean all the way down into the bell tail and pull it back out, okay? So that's with the, the main body and you can just wash with a washcloth all the other parts. Same thing with the valve slides. Again, you can use the end of the snake to go in and you can actually clean out these uh, parts of the, of, the, of the slides, all right? So that's what you're gonna do with this snake. Now the, uh, the bigger brush, the bore brush, this is to take any debris off very carefully into the valve casing. So you can push it through, pull it back out in soapy water, all right? So that's going to take any debris that's off there. Uh, after you've done that, you're going to then rinse everything out with clean, warm water. Uh, water's not going to hurt it. Lubricate all the slides as they go back in. Put them in. I will start with all the slide tubes first. I would lubricate all the, uh, the other secondary slides and I would put them back in. Uh, then you're going to actually put the ring back on to make sure that that third slide doesn't come out. put it back into the right playing position for you. Good to go. Put the second slide back in. It has a pull knob on it that faces out. And then the first valve slide. But you remember, I took some of these rings off. So before I put the first slide in, I'm gonna put these rings back on so that I have a nice quiet action. Then I go ahead and put my valve bottom ca caps back on. Just tighten them down snug. You don't have to put them on really tight, just snug. And now all we have left to do is actually oil every valve, put them back in properly. Now remember to put them in the correct way. Everyone has a number on it, make sure it's in the right casing. So there you have it. Now all you have to do is take a dry cloth and you're gonna wipe it down. Take all the water, get all the extra water off it. You're gonna blow out any water that's in it. All right, there you've just cleaned your instrument. Okay, if you do this once a month, you're gonna keep it very clean. You're gonna uh, have it for years, years to come. So that's what you want to do on, on a monthly basis. You're going to want to take it into your local dealer to have them check everything on it every six months so that uh, you can make sure that there's nothing seriously wrong with it. Uh, they can do a general maintenance uh, review on it, and it's really just a good uh, habit to get into. All right, so we've taken care of cleaning the trumpet. What I want to do now is to make sure that uh, we don't forget the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece is very important. You're going to want to wipe that off. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you wipe this off every day before you put it back in the case. And then at least once a week, you're going to actually use warm soapy water and you're going to use this brush. You're going to soak it in warm soapy water with a mild detergent and you're going to run this brush inside and out. That's really important because this is the front end of your trumpet is where most of the debris is going to come from as, uh, as you're playing. So you want to keep that clean uh, because you want to maintain all the proper dimensions. If you let things stay in there, it changes the horn and it doesn't play uh, like it originally did. So keep the mouthpiece clean all the time. Uh, this is the brush you'll use all the time for your mouthpiece. You're going to use that most frequently. Okay? 
if you follow these simple directions, you're going to have years of, of, of carefree maintenance. The last thing I want to do is, again, on a daily basis, so you know, you see a blue bottle here. What I want to do every day before you put your horn away, wipe it off. Once a week, you're going to take a good quality glass cleaner. Very simple. All you're going to do is take and spray it into uh, a soft cloth. And you're going to use this just to wipe down the instrument. This actually removes any of the excess oils that are around the, on the instrument from, from your hands. All right? So you want to wipe it down and clean this off. It will not harm the finish. Just use a good quality glass cleaner in, in, uh, in a little bit at a time. And you can also use the same thing with silver plate. Uh, just because it's plated doesn't mean that you can't use the same cleaner. Again, all the same oils that you get on a, uh, a lacquer instrument are also on a silver plated instrument. So you can actually use a good quality uh, glass cleaner and wipe down your instrument. I would not spray directly onto the instrument. I would always spray it onto the cloth and then wipe it down. And you'll be really surprised at how, how nice that keeps the finish looking on it. Now over time, as a silver plated instrument, it will tarnish. Anything left out in the open air that is plated will tarnish. So when it starts to tarnish, then you're gonna have to get a good quality silver polish. So thanks for spending some time with me today. Again, um, this is the King 601 Student Trumpet made here in the USA in East Lake, Ohio. This is the uh, Box Stradivarius 180S37 made right here in Elkhart. And I'm Jeff Christina. Thanks for being with me.